There are some folk who ought to know better and who ought to be able to understand that racism in any form needs to be addressed head on, especially by those that we consider responsible, educated, intelligent, and informed adults like our superintendent and those who are administrators of this school district. That's right. That's right. Preach, preach. It is very clear, as it, all, as it, as it has already been stated, that these types of behaviors from students indicate a need for local school districts to incorporate into their curriculum better education on racism, its roots, and its reach. It is systemic. We've heard a student talk about the differential treatment of black kids and white kids, and we know the reports. All we have to do is to pull the reports from our Department of Education in Raleigh, look at the suspension and expulsion data, and we will see that there are patterns of differential treatment of our children, of black children. We also know that it's not just black children, but in Chapel Hill, it's poor children. So it seems that when set of moving to a community in which everyone feels included, respected, honored, and appreciated, and are encouraged to, to excel and to achieve to the highest of their ability, that um, only seems to be something that is granted to white and affluent kids.